much hope. Jag follows me into the jury house. Please, please, girls, make this happen. We cannot let these, you know, tough guys um, make it to the end. I don't want to see this again. How boring of a season would it be if it's another, like, Hitman or, you know, a renegade situation? I really hope Jag is next. He is playing an excellent game. He is a comp beast, but they need to go after him. He needs to be stopped. He has seven competition wins. He's just obliterating everybody and in, in anything. I I really hope I see him next. He's a sneaky little liar. I thought I could trust him. He was one of my best friends in the house. And oh, I'm just so frustrated with him. Like, stupid, stupid Jag. Yeah, I was going to come after him next, but... How dare he? How dare he target me? I hope he's, I hope he comes in next. It'll be a fun jury house too. I love Jag. We have so much fun together. So I hope he comes in, you know, so we can chill and hang and, and vibe. It'll be a fun time. Corey is the funniest guy I have ever met. I think our first conversation ever, we were like in a group setting uh, in the hot tub and he he said um he like quoted like this Avril Lavigne song and then he was talking about his accent I thought it was the funniest thing ever I was hee hee hawing with him all night uh and then after talking to him more I realized that like we thought about the game in a similar way so that's how we initially connected right we're huge super fans and I think you know, we had a similar view of what was happening in the game. Uh, so we connected in that sense. Uh, but also just like after talking to him more, he's just so intelligent and, and funny and witty. And I just love that about him. I cannot wait to see him in the jury house and spend these next two weeks together. Ah, Corey, my boo, I'm coming. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, I got a bone to pick with Corey because first off, he had been Mr. Confrontation all fucking season, right? He was up there in the HOH room yelling at Jared, apparently, during Jared's first HOH win. And he was up there during the Humiliverse fight, right? Uh, when he, like, held court with, with Jared and all the other house guests. But all of a sudden, when Felicia starts coming at both of us, he runs to the backyard. And I'm like, um, hello, like, come in here, Mr. Confrontation, like back me up here it was so frustrating and I I did uh get on him about that because I was like hey like I was in there fighting for you standing up for you like why why didn't you stand up for yourself why didn't you back me up on this it was a little frustrating uh because it seemed like yeah he was he was all for it when it was with Jared but when like Felicia you know did the pull this little stunt during the veto meeting he was nowhere to be found. He was, I don't know, with a pink hat and the pink blankie somewhere on the hammock, I think. I don't know. He just ran away. I, that was the toughest part from the blind side last week. Feeling like it was my responsibility. It was my fault that Corey and I were in that position. Um, but after Corey left, I mean, I, I've had time to think about it. And no, I don't think it was my fault. I know Matt and Jag were just looking for any excuse to come after me and Corey. Um, and I, I gave it to them, right? I, I think they would have possibly done it regardless. Um, I mean, I guess we'll never know. But I no, I, I don't blame myself anymore. I think it was going to happen eventually. And it was the right thing to do. Like, let's be honest. Me and Corey had been talking about getting rid of Matt and Jag. So it was it was the right thing to do for them. In terms of Blue, oh, Blue's such a badass. She is so, I love Blue, you know? And we, for some reason, were never able to make it work, which I'm really mad at myself about. Like, if I could do it over again, me and Blue would have, you know, made a final two at the beginning and, and you know, hopefully made it to the end. But I think Blue, I mean... She was willing to, during the the first double eviction, the weeks leading up to that, she was all for it. She was for, you know, getting rid of Jared. She didn't tell him anything. 
um, about our plan to to have him up on the block and, and, and evicted. So she she's just so brave. I thought, you know, that's something that I said I would have been able to do, but I know how I feel about Corey. I just couldn't, I wouldn't have been, been able to do what she, what she did. And, you know, she lasted five weeks, I think, without, without Jared. I was dying after a week without Corey. I think she is so brave. I think she's such a badass bitch. And she had to do what she had to do. I know she made the same mistake that I did, which was trusting Jag uh, with anything. I don't blame her for telling him. I She thought it was the right thing to do. I thought it was the right thing to do to, you know, trust her with information. We all make mistakes, but I think I applaud her for, for playing so hard. It's It was great to play with her. I love her. Ugh, these competitions are so hard. Oh my God. Like I, I really was giving it my all. I was trying my best. I really thought that I would be amazing at these mental comps and, and even the mental comps are so difficult. OMG. Uh, the physical ones were, I mean, were tough. Me and my little legs up against the Matt and Jags, you know, like doom, 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 like Goliath. I, I felt like, you know, it was, I was, up against like Goliath <laughs> it was it was so so tough um I just couldn't I couldn't win for some reason I was really even in this last double eviction I I was trying to focus on that HOH that last competition but it, it's so much harder than it looks y'all like I promise I'm not stupid I'm not like you know I don't I, I just it sucks I really wanted to win something and I just for some reason was never able to focus, stay calm under pressure, I think is key. Um, it, it never worked out. Uh.